Hey everyone, welcome back for another video here on my YouTube channel. This is Cassie. Today we're going to be using some alcohol pearls. And so I'll talk about the products we're using. We've got that Simon Says Stamp Paper Hugs Dye. We also have some matte black 5x7 alcohol ink card stock. And then we have some various alcohol pearls. And I'll talk about those as I use them. But I have them in a rainbow of colors. And then we also have an alcohol blender or an ink blower. We do have the blending solution, but I don't use that a whole lot. So you'll notice with your alcohol pearl inks, if you've never used these before, they definitely need to be shook up. There's a ball inside there that will help get all of that sparkle powder or whatever it is um, distributed really well. And so you just want to shake, shake, shake until you have all of those, all that stuff out of the bottom. And you'll know that you're good because it won't be there anymore. So I'll take all the lids off, keep those close by. You'll also notice though that I do have my lids marked. I have gotten them mixed up before and you don't want to do that. I'm going to start off by putting the color right on the paper. This is where you could add your alcohol blending solution, but I choose not to. I didn't want it to blend too much together. Uh, and But typically when I'm using like the Yupo paper or some glossy paper, you could put your blending solution right down first, but I couldn't do that. I've got you slowed down. Notice what I do. I dump that. And normally what that'll end up doing is cause a bunch of that ink to go everywhere. But in this case, it didn't. Surprise, surprise. But for that occasion, I had bought these bottle cozies in a 10-pack from Ranger, and this is exactly what they're meant for. They're, well, there's a couple things you can do with them. They'll, they're meant to keep your bottles from falling over, because I always do that, and I hate when that happens, because when that happens, I typically get alcohol ink on my clothes, and I hate that, or I get it on my project, and then I have to kind of work with that. So that's why I really like these little cozies. They're also good for, say, your, um, like, pearl, your whatever those are, those little squeezy pearl thingies. <laughs> I can't think right now. Um, but in case you, the flat side is really good to keep those, like, if you want the product to stay towards the bottom. You wouldn't want that to stay towards the bottom for these. So that's why these cozies are great, because it keeps them from dumping over. And you'll notice I'm just kind of swishing that around with that ink blower as well. And I keep adding more to add more texture, but I love how these pearls look on top of that black cardstock. It's so, so pretty. And you could go and leave a lot more black showing, but I really didn't want to. <laughs> I'm sure I will for some of the other ones that I do in the future, but I really wanted that whole rainbow and I wanted it to just completely cover. But take a look at all of that shimmer in there. It's just so so pretty and I'm gonna make a couple more of these uh, I added purple in the end on this one and on the, the last one I make but that ends up being not completely unnecessary because these are five by seven and I typically make a two size cards which measure out to be four and a quarter by five and a half inches so I'll have to trim off a decent amount and I end up pretty much losing that purple which is okay um, but I figured since I had that black spot on there to begin with that's what I would cover it with Turns out, I'll cut it off. But yeah, I love how these turned out. This was so much fun to play around with. Such a good, like, stress reliever. So, so nice. And then in this second one, I do bring in some blending solution on a brush that I have completely designated for alcohol inks. Obviously, that one was dirty. <laughs> Should have cleaned it off first. But these are synthetic brushes, and they're specifically made by Ranger for the alcohol inks. But yes, I only use them for my alcohol inks. And then I splatter that all over just to give a little bit more texture. I'll bring that up to the camera so you can kind of take a look. But um, yeah, it adds a lot of texture and just a little bit of variation, a lot of splatter look. And so that's what the second one looks like. And then I'll show you all three that I made. And they're just, oh, these are yummy. I love it. I love playing with my alcohol inks. Don't play with them near enough. All right, the next thing I want to do is die cut paper hugs. I have three different colors of cardstock that I've chosen, and I've got three pieces of each of those colors. So that way I can have almost like a chipboard feel. So I'm going to cut that out basically nine times, and then I'll have all, those all stacked and ready to go to start assembling. You'll notice I have some Rainbow Sparkle embossing powder. This stuff is by Brutus Monroe, and it is amazing. I love it. So if you ever want to add a little bit of sparkle, maybe deepen the color of what you got. And yes, Max has come to help. Um, that Rainbow Sparkle is fabulous. 
Max is such a paper cat. Oh my goodness. You could definitely tell he's my cat. <laughs> he loves paper probably as much as I do. So if there's paper around, he, if he does get a hold of it, will take off running. And I think I've shared that before, but he just loves paper. So I fought with him the whole time. I'm not fought because he's fun. I love it. He's helpful. <laughs> And if you saw on the Share Handmade Kindness Facebook page the other day, I had posted, it was Miles who walked through my, my splatter box and left a paw print. Not just one though, he left several all over my desk. Thankfully it was Distress Oxide Spray, so it was easy to clean off, but he did get on top of some cardstock. And I will have to keep and, and frame those pieces. All right, I'm going to cover this with that um, Brutus Monroe Rainbow Sparkle embossing powder and basically it's just a clear with some shimmery glitter inside of it so it'll darken up that paper just a little bit and then it'll be covered in sparkle and I did use my ink on three juicy embossing ink for that probably because that is my juiciest clear ink pad and I did keep it on low but Max is not a fan of the heat gun so he left he was on his own after that and I'm going to do that with one of each of the pink and one of the green as well but before we go on to that, I'm going to go ahead and stack these up, get these all ready to go. You could run this through, if you have a Xyron sticker maker, you could have run that through there before you die cut them, and this would have been perfect to attach to each other. But it's a big enough space that I'm just going to use my Nuvo Deluxe Liquid Glue. I really like this. And as long as you aren't like squeeze happy with your glue and get it everywhere, you're going to be fine. It's not going to seep out of the edges too much. Um, and so I figured it was fine to just use my liquid glue. And then I'll just adhere one on top of the other. These are going to end up being three thick. So it'll give this nice little impression that it is um, like a chipboard almost. And then next one, I'll attach this one to the top. So I'll put my glue down on top of these ones. You could do it to the back of the glittery one and add it that way. But I just grabbed it this way and did it this way. And then you'll have, like I said, this beautiful little chipboard piece that you'll now be able to attach to the front of your card. And it is a statement piece all on its own. So the only stamping I'm going to end up doing for these is some more sentiments. I'm going to leave these as is. I want those backgrounds to be the star of the show. But take a look at that beautiful sparkle that that embossing powder gives. Love it. And here we have it. So I've, as you can tell, I've went ahead and cut down my card stock my matte cardstock, and now I'm going to adhere down my paper hugs to the top of this. Again, using that same Nouveau Deluxe liquid glue. This is just my go-to. I know there's lots of great glues out there, but this is the one I just keep going back to. I'll adhere that down, and then my card base, I'm going to match the card stock from the card, or you know, from each of the, the paper hugs. So I'll have this blue, I have some pink and some green and then I'll attach that down. It is going to cover the whole front of that. And that cardstock was cut down to five and a half inches by eight and a half inches and scored at four and a quarter. It will be a top folding, a two size card. And then I do end up keeping those pieces because it's so pretty uh, on the side you can see. I'm gonna grab that rainbow one, we'll cut that down and then we'll adhere that to the inside of our card. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the other two ready to go as well. So those are all adhered. I have some sentiments. These are the ones I cut. These come from the Simon Says Stamp Paper Hug Stamp Set. I didn't show it because I decided to use it last minute, but I will have it linked down below. And it says Paper Hugs, the next, next best thing to a real one. And then on the inside, I'm going to stamp, I wanted to hug you in person, but I couldn't find a big enough envelope. I think that's so cute. So I'll stamp that on the inside of each of these cards. And then I am replenishing my stock of cards to send out to people who need hugs but can't get them in person. All right, there you have it. Here are the three cards. I love how these turned out. Of course, you throw a rainbow on anything, and I am, like, in love. So... If you liked this video, I would love it if you hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And huge thank you to all of you who reached out after that last video I put out um, with me watercoloring. You guys have some huge hearts, and I love you all. You all are incredible. So thank you so much, and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.